Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Zach, otherwise known as Poppy Syntax, and today um, I'm a little bit disappointed. <laughs> uh, pretty Pretty had a drive and die and an Anne Boleyn is still MIA, so I thought it would be interesting um, to go back and have a look at Fruity Beauty's most viewed video um, on YouTube. And it is called Large Super Cheesy Pizza Mukbang Eating Show All in Caps. <laughs> and I'm very excited. I'm interested to see, uh, this video is also from three years ago, so I'm interested to see why this is the most viewed um, at over 600,000 views. Uh, and I believe this one has comments fully disabled. Um, so that'll be interesting. My day otherwise has been grand. I've done nothing. I've gone grocery shop. Well, no, I've done nothing. I've done very little. Uh, I've gone grocery shopping. I baked some bread. And yeah, that's about it. And I'm just enjoying the beautiful spring weather that Australia has uh, has graced us with. Literally not a cloud in the sky, but it's also like 30 degrees. So uh, anyway, let's get into the video. This is mildly sped up. And here we go. Hello, foodie beauties. Hello. <laughs> Pause. Great minds discuss ideas, average minds discuss events, small minds discuss people. I mean, the impact of a quote is kind of lessened when you don't know who has said this. I know this is a, fa a famous quote, um, and strangely enough, uh, she did post something to this effect. I feel recently on her community tab, I saw it pop, pop up. Um, I've said before about kind of like the evolutionary traits that exist within our monkey brain society <laughs> uh, about discussing people and where gossip come fr comes from and why it's kind of important. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really think you need to segregate great average and small minded individuals based on what, what they discuss. And it kind of hits home because discuss is the way I, I like to view um, the content that I create because uh, she would call me a leech, <laughs> a content leech, um, and I would say that the reactions that I make are based in discussion of the individuals and the events and ideas <laughs> that are being portrayed through through the media. So anyway, that's fine. She can... Also, this was three years ago, so it just feels bizarre. Pause. Do people for real still find it actually funny to make fun of someone's appearance beyond the age of 12? Do grown adults really do that? Ooh, I feel like she's got a lot of things to say in this video, so I'm very excited. Um, I mean, yes, they can. Do I? No. Will I judge another person for enjoying make of making fun of another. I mean, I don't appreciate it, but like we've all been there. Also, like absolutely people were making fun of my appearance beyond the age of 12. <sighs> do grown adults really do that? I mean, it's hard. This kind of statement's hard coming from her knowing where she goes in the future because she absolutely rags on on people and their looks and, you know, a lot of her discussions are not necessarily about the content of one's character. It, it's all just, um, it's all just, you know, face value with her, I guess. So anyway, I'm not here to make fun. I'm not here to make fun of, I'm not here to poke fun. I'm not here to pick on. I'm not here to bully. I don't really care what an individual looks like. It's the content that they create and the, the you know, caliber of their character that is worth discussing and the events of their life that's worth discussing. Absolutely. What they look like is, in my opinion, a very small element of one's character. Please know that new patrons will take a couple of days to show up. Okay, well... It's just a big old ad now. <laughs> Sam Sam, you look so cozy, Sam Sam. Are you cozy, Sam Sam? Say hi to the YouTube people, Sam Sam. 
Look how big my sham shams get. Look at her videos. Get a light on that cat. Oh, sham sham, shammy shammy sham 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 sham. Hi sham sham. Hi sham sham. Honestly, if once a week she just cut a video of her following her cats around or like strapped a GoPro to one of them <laughs> or something, it probably wouldn't be the most entertaining content, but like animals are cute and people like them and it's probably better than mukbangs. You have your fur coming out of your ears, you freak. My opinion. You freak! You cute freak! What's up, guys? Hi. I have pizza, I'm all excited. Oh, so yeah, this is, so obviously three years ago, she was still with Bibi. She was in the old house and she's eating pizza pizza, which we know she enjoys, um, but there's never enough cheese or whatever it is she, she says about it. So bizarre going back. And I mean, maybe I'll go back on my timeline and see if I can find a, a photo of me three years ago, at least in the face, um, to see the difference. But like, this is, this is quite a stark difference Aww. to what we see now. Particularly with the, oh, I just woke up and ate Chinese food from the mall, which I'm absolutely not doing anything with. It's pizza. Jalapeno poppers. Also, um, sound off, feel free. I don't understand sides with pizza. It was never really a big thing for me as a child, which is kind of where the majority of my pizza eating memories are, because as an adult, you just don't remember that. Um, or I don't. But like sides with a pizza was never really a thing. Garlic bread, I have actively discussed. Um, absolutely yes with, with pizzas, but like jalapeno poppers are not a big thing down here, culturally, not a big part of the diet. Um, I know now a lot of the like international chains sell like little like single serve desserts and things, but you know, the classic deal you'd get with pizzas would be like two pizzas of garlic bread and a 1.25 liter beverage. Um, yeah, jalapeno poppers and deep fried things, not really. Never. Not, not big in it. Ever. They exist now, absolutely. But. Well, don't cook it like all the way. You know what I mean? Like it's, I want the cheese to be more brown, is what I'm saying. In essence, okay. Okay. Water. What you can do is fire up your old oven, chuck that in for a little while, just let it crisp up. That's fine. And if you're unhappy with it, you know, message the plates and, and put in a piece of. I didn't have any uh, uh, jalapeno ranch left. Oh no. <laughs> what an inconvenience. Let's not ruin this pizza party. It's like a fan so, on guys, in the background. Guys, grab something. I just want to chill out. I've been watching Dan Bell in the background. Chill out with Brenda. I am. Chill out. I'm, I'm home alone. Um, I have pizza. This is a pizza party. Oh, this is sped up as well. I just want to chill out with you guys. Um, yep. Why did the delivery guy have to be hot, by the way? Like, I had no bra on. So I go to the friggin... How dare you discuss another person and their, their physical characteristics. I mean, read the room, right? Like, she literally called out her audience for making fun of people's aesthetic, and now she's telling us how hot her delivery driver was. Or boobs are swaying to and fro. Okay, not wearing a bra, like, right? Well, right? Yeah, usually it's for I don't have a lot of experience. Comes. You know, the older guy. Okay, cool. Well, creamy garlic. Okay. That's all you. All right, guys. Also, dips with the pizza, uh, not a big thing. Me reflecting on kind of like my bigger moments, definitely I was just like, oh yeah, I can slice up some avocado and put some mayonnaise on this like bare bones pizza. That should have been like <laughs> a little bit of a red flag. It wasn't, unfortunately. Um, I, d I, don't, I don't get this dips and sauces with pizza thing. I don't mm. understand. Like you may as well just be eating bread. Eating bread. Or chips or whatever. I'm gonna try this. Mm. I do like these nails though. It's actually good. Get away with them like now. And this dip sauce. <laughs> also, that sound, that sound um we refer to it as slapping your chops um chops slapping them um i'm noticing 
2017 Chantel um, did a little bit less of that and I feel like it's just a I don't know actually what it is but it just has become more prevalent the more recent mukbangs and videos that I've seen which is very yeah, so it's delicious. not just like the jaw popping it's my favorite literally her mouth making thin sense. crust garlic um honey sriracha base sauce mm -hmm. extra cheese chipotle chicken red onion green olives green peppers with dipping sauce and she wanted ranch that's a whole heap of flavors that I'm unsure of the harmony that they're creating, but I'm sure it's delicious. Beauty bite. And it's not all here. Like in recent years, it's all kind of gotten everywhere. I don't know. Which is definitely small in here. Oh well. I don't know if I should talk about this or I, just, I feel like I need to because I don't know. People apparently are really disturbed. In general. <laughs> that I eat so much. Um, well, okay. Let me look at it this way. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna. I'm not offended by people being concerned about me. I mean, I don't understand how. Good. People who are complete strangers could give a shit about me at all but the fact that people do is kind of nice yeah i mean it's it's hum like there's an element of human decency with it there's a form uh, there's an element of empathy that goes along with seeing a fellow human being and understanding that they are going through a troubling time or some kind of plight and feeling bad for them and saying, oh, hey, what can I do to help this person? A lot of the times, for me, the way I see helping people is to give advice. Whether or not it's been asked for is an entirely <laughs> different thing. Um, but a lot of the time, if I, would, I see someone struggling with something that I myself have dealt with, in, in, and even when we talk about it in a work capacity, in a professional capacity, if I see someone who's having trouble with something that I've dealt with, similar in the past i will tell them the way that i handled the the issue so that argument could also be used for mukbangers putting on weight not necessarily that a lot of us who have lost weight have experience with mukbanging on the internet no not at all but we do have experience with with diet the fact that people care about other people they don't know is kind of nice. As long as there's no nice. malicious intent behind it and you genuinely care. Why would anyone have malicious intent behind caring? Like, that's... I care for you, but I have nefarious reasons to care for you. It's just a very, like, jaded kind of opinion. You know what I mean? But... I don't know what to say about that because... I guess if you have a fan who looks up to you and is rooting for you and you just completely let them down, I could see that being a disappointment. I get that. Mm -hmm. It's a whole Invincibles and Buddy scenario she's playing out. Um, or Syndrome. Yeah. You know. And I don't want it to seem like I'm completely ignoring... I mean... I'm not completely ignoring. Well, yeah, I have been ignoring my health. Right. But. Interesting that she can, her, again, it's interesting looking at three years in the past because it seems like she can almost, almost finish a sentence and almost finish a topic before getting back to the food. Now, oof, it's like three words. So I missed this. This is a much easier conversation to be having. I value my life, I do. I don't know, it doesn't look like it right now, but I do. So when you make a joke of it, when you laugh about it, and it is the truth, like, there is truth in that joke that she's she's using as a shield. I Guys, I know it does, you know, I care for my health. I know it doesn't look like it right now. If I had, a, if I said that with, like, a cigarette in my hand, the joke is the shield. The joke is the protection to stop any person coming back and saying, yes, that's true. Do you need help with it? Like, 
yes, you value your life, but you're still smoking. Do you need, is that something you need help with? Do, you know, is there something I can do to help you? Ugh. And I am going to be, well, I almost take back what I said about that finishing. Us. Implementing some changes. Okay. That was a lot. When, how, what? I don't know. No makeup club. Mm. Isn't she wearing makeup? I do know. Got but I'm doing a video. So. Something on. <laughs> Maybe mascara? Highlight or something? And then somebody, I found out going through the comments, there's this. What the hell is Kiwi Farms? Oh. Is that like a forum or a website where people go and like discuss other people? Yes. People are insane. Okay, well... What the hell? <laughs> let's not, like, go judging people. Again, I I haven't spent a lot of time on Kiwi Farms. It's not, like... I've said before, the lens in which I consume this media is generally YouTube, and that's pretty much it. I've got other things to do <laughs> and other content to consume. Um, yeah, I mean... I don't know. Looking at the last three years, there have been certainly been been issues between her and the forums and the online discussion in general. Um, but I don't know. I don't say that she needs to do this, but I kind of feel as if she she were unhappy with that form of attention. That she it would be a little bit more of a direct like to camera you know, I really don't like this and actually have an element of humanity to it rather than, oh, you people are crazy talking about how I sit here and, and mukbang for money, but, but it is the reality that she just sits there and mukbangs for money. Um, and it's hard for us because although these vlogs and this content is literally focused on a human individual, the humanity um, and the empathy that that her audience should feel for her is often not there. And I'm a, I'm a really good example of that. A lot of the times I will sit down and just be like, oh God, I wish she would just like not do all of these things that she's showing. And then you'll suddenly remember this as a human individual who is clearly struggling with something or whatever, whatever. What is wrong with people? Well, let them talk, you know. Let them talk. Or whatever. Yeah, I mean, you, don't, you don't need to worry about it. You can, but you don't need to. I'm accepting the fact that I'm a YouTuber. Mm-hmm. Public figure. There's not gonna, not everybody's gonna like me. Um, there's a lot of hateful people out there, or there's people who just, I don't know. All right, like, just because someone hates, or what I'm assuming she means to say is dislikes you or disagrees with you, doesn't make them a hateful or hate-filled person. Um, it just, they... Look, this is my to-camera moment. Someone can disagree with you fundamentally. They can disagree with your actions, your attitudes, your um, whatever you're wishing to put forward as you. They can inherently disagree with that. It doesn't make them hateful, and it doesn't make them hate or dislike you, but they can just disagree with you and your actions, and that's okay. That's, like, a thing we all live with day to day. I mean, it's all, the world is full of all kinds of people and I can't yes. control how people react to me. And I'm, I'm accepting that. Didn't she copyright strike a whole heap of people? I delete really hateful comments on my channel because mm. if you see the majority Which no one does, comments because and, they're deleted. You know, people who I've become friends with. And they get, a lot of them get upset and message me and be like, you know, delete those hateful comments. And I've noticed that since like Divine Munchies and other people are deleting them, the really mean ones, it's a much nicer place. <laughs> so that's I don't know how to feel about that because that it, that's a whole argument about censorship and what is and is not correct there. That's a moral question, I think, or an ethical question, I think. Um, but this is why things like Kiwi Farms exist because you're taking the social element of your social media out of it. Um, the whole idea of social media is not just I as an individual can create content, but I have 
an audience who can also have discussions or re I ironically react to um, or speak on the content that's being created. Um, it creates a social interaction when you when you basically tell people, well, I don't agree with the words that you're saying and they're hateful and, you know, this is a disagreement and I'll delete it. Um, I don't think that's right, but that's just a me thing. I don't have to deal with the amount of hate that this person clearly has to. Um, if it's like, <laughs> if it's just like a link to like Pornhub, then yeah, delete it. But if it's someone's opinion saying whatever they have to say, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really want to, um, delete it. I would address it rather than just going through and kind of sweeping everything under the rug. I'd call them out. Actually, if I were in her, her position and I got like a hundred really nasty comments, my next video would literally be like, so <laughs> time to list off my hundred worst comments and to go through them and actually talk Why about do it. That? But again, I don't feel like direct action is foodie's biggest um, strength. I know I have to change, but at the same time, I know I'm a good person, no matter what size I am. Being no good and eating, your waist size are not, not intrinsically not linked. <sighs> That's dangerous. And, um, my consciousness is clean as a person, you know? So whatever you have to say about me is superficial and, you know? I mean, superficial is based on aesthetic and physical uh, physicality. Um, people who speak about her character in a negative way, that isn't that isn't in inherently based on the size you are or the you know or your makeup skills or what you look like or how you dress or whatever whatever. Um, it's a lot more about what you're saying and what you're doing versus what you're eating. So, mm. not being out of the way. <laughs> I mean, I get this is not everybody's cup of tea. Like, you know. Mm. This is my Pepsi Max today. I should really, act, you know, you're telling me that life is short and I should take care of myself. Mm -hmm. Well, in turn, you should realize that life is short and you shouldn't waste your time worrying about my life. And watching me if I bother you. No, I mean, Foodie doesn't bother me for the most part. Some of her content's really, really boring and some of her content's interesting. Um, but I enjoy watching her, both her and Amber and some other people. I enjoy watching them because they remind me I could sit down and eat a family sized pizza and it would be two and a half, three thousand calories and I would feel good in the moment. But in the in the reality, the long term effects of weight gain and obesity are awful. So I want to get another 20, 30, 40 years in and still be well, hopefully more than that actually, but and and be happy with the decisions that I've made. So I utilize these as well her content and these people's content as as talking points, as really great examples of like, l look at, I want to be able to reflect on this in three years and say, oh, look, look what I was doing. Look where I was. I think if Foodie did the same thing, she'd probably be quite upset. I don't know. Go ride a horse. Go travel to the fjords of yonder. I don't know, like do something. Oh. So what I do in my free time, I'm learning to cook and bake, spend a lot of time in the kitchen. I work, clearly. <laughs> I still go to work. Um, and I try to go skating every day for a few hours a week, at least. Um, I try to get sunlight every day. I have a relatively simple lifestyle, but I try to fill it with content and things that I enjoy. And from a media perspective, I really enjoy video games, but I also really enjoy like, you know, watching interviews with actors and directors and watching mukbangers kind of 
do this because it's it's interesting and it and it you know it gives me a reason to continue watching what I eat and motivation to you know get out there and do things because I can look at this and say this is not where I want to be I'm alone in the house oh, I've been there <laughs> I don't want to I can yell at anything I want except I didn't have the thought to film it to make money <laughs> I wish I had <laughs> No one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Comment below. Comment right now. I don't think she could think we can. What you get on your pizza? Like your go-to toppings. Oh, okay. So the last pizza pizza I had was a vegerama from Domino's with added avocado. It it was okay, um, but my previous go-tos have been like Fat Zack was, um, was double bacon cheeseburger. So it had ground beef, bacon, it may have been a white sauce pizza, I can't quite remember. I don't know, even like with Domino's, even red sauce is just really thin and you can't really, it doesn't really add it too much flavor. Um, and then it had a mayonnaise or a special sauce kind of swell that made it cheeseburger E. Um, and I probably ate that at my worst, probably once or twice a week, a full pie. Yeah. Mm. Still wondering why this video got so many views. So? It's curious. Mm -hmm. I have a job interview Ooh. tomorrow. Now I don't think she got it. I don't know. the The law of foodie beauty doesn't tell me she's worked in a while. The law. Um. Wait, what is this like? America's a different beast, hey. So she's gotten a Wendy's drink alongside a pizza, pizza, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Bizarre. Is it just that, that like, I'll go to a food space that has multiple things for people to, like, pick up at? I don't know. Because I know, like, Taco Bell and KFC have, like, like, duopoly <laughs> shops or whatever. I don't know. It's a bit sketchy because, first of all, mm -hmm. I don't even remember applying for this job. Oh, so this is just a lie. Second. <laughs> <laughs> the the per person sends me an email. The title of the email says office. It doesn't say, you know, anything about the job. The body of the email has an application form, which I already sent my resume, so I don't know why. Anyway. I mean, a lot of places... Some places you need to fill out an application form. Yeah, a lot of places do that because um, they have, like, off-site It doesn't say the name of the place or anything like that. It just says, pick one of the interview times selected below, reply to my email, the interviews at blah blah blah, the address... Yeah, it's just a really standardized, we'll send this out to 30 people email. Got it. So I look at the address. Mm-hmm. And it's a medical building with several different offices. So I'm like, reply to her. I'm like, can you tell me which unit, you know, unit number it is and the name of your company? And this is like... I just want to be clear. I'm gonna get some beans. Why? Please come back and finish your story. Or cut this. No, we're just gonna watch the the TV. She's like, I just want to be clear. Who's your chair? Grow up. The name of the fucking pickles. The place where you're doing your interview is not the name of the the location of where you'll be working or something. I don't know. Yeah, so they've got an interview space that has nothing to do Didn't with... Didn't make sense. No, that makes some sense. So it seems a bit sketchy. And then she's like... And then she's like... Well... There it is. Um, she named... She said a name. And I googled it. 
And I can't find any any information on it. I don't know. I'm gonna see what it's about. Yeah. I mean, but. if you've been applying for jobs, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to think about the story. This guy who worked, um, human resources for the, like, the Senate keeps calling me. And I know I should call him back. Um, so I left a message and, you know, I told him, he didn't answer, so I left a message. I told him I'm not, you know, I'm not, I currently have a job somewhere else. I lied. Because when I really think about like the job description, <sighs> she's looking for a job and she's it's a high high paying job like admin work, but it's also very 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 demanding. And <clears throat> tell me how you haven't worked, you haven't experienced the workplace. So how is it demanding? How do you know it's demanding? It's not I physically the right demanding. Place I'm assuming right now to to take on that kind of responsibility. Um. Not sure if lie or not. Man, she just wants to stay at home and make money from eating on the internet. Who can blame her? Everything I promised to do with my channel, I want to have the time to do that. In three years time, Chantel, you will have all the time in the world <laughs> to um, do whatever you want with your channel. And it'll be the same. And, you know, that's entirely your prerogative. I don't even really need to work right now, to be honest. There it is. There's the truth. I don't need to. I'm collecting... I'm not going to go into my financial situation because it's none of your business. <laughs> and no, not because of Patreon. Mm. It's not. But... Mm, caught herself on that one. Just... I don't really need to work, I just feel like I should. I've said it before, and I very much agree and enjoy <laughs> the, um, the sentiment that, you know, in your life you should have three hobbies. One of them to make you money, one of them to keep you physically active, and one to keep you creatively active. So... You know what I mean? Anyway. Same old bullshit in my life. Just doing... Same old dilemmas. All of them here. Well, um, minus what I feel I need to be doing is probably minus fitness as well. Doing what I say I'm going to be doing, like on my channel, you know, focusing on my weight loss channel. I haven't done a video in forever. Going back to the oh, gym. Oh yeah, didn't she have multiple channels? Setting up my life in a routine where she had a blog I can channel? work on the creativity and productivity of my channels. Weird. Setting up my kitchen so I can do cooking. Uh huh. Along with my mukbangs. Um, she has she has ticked that box. I have a lot of recipes I want to like cook with you guys and share with you guys. Less of that, but there has been cooking in her future. There will be cooking so. in this future. Mm. I've become friends with another YouTuber. Okay, cool. Amber. Chef Tovia Gartenberg. I'm gonna link his channel. You sh you have to check him out because that's two in a row now. I think we should definitely you like check food out porn? these. Oh my god, his recipes are amazing. I don't care for the term food porn. He's a chef. I think it's so always call him chef. Like we don't need to like attach those kind of emotions to food. I don't think because it is essentially just sustenance. But you know, spending spending time in the kitchen and being proud of the work that you've done. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely Go true. show him some love. Um, and if you create content based on that, even really better. He deserves it. And <clears throat> I'm going to be um, collabing with him and doing some of his recipes. Wait, did she ever do a collab or did she pull a recipe? What is this thing? Is this what they call a blizzard? Is that a Wendy's thing? Is that a... something else? So anyways... I kind of feel like I miss out on a lot of social cues with them. Um, yeah, so this channel I really want to... Do my Mr. Monday's creepy pastas. I think both of those I want to really improve those series, you know? I really want to... 
do more research. I really want to write my own stories. I have so many short stories I want to share with you guys. I need the time to write. And uh, I don't think you ever got there. I need the time to write. Um, I just need the time to shoot these, to shoot a video every day. And um, you're doing that currently, but there's a lot of driving dines that I'm not a big fan of. Yeah. Just because, just because she spends a lot of time either driving or speaking with her chat, um, mm. which is all a bit echo chambery. It's nothing. Very rarely anything. If I worked out the Senate. I'd be too mentally drained. I know it. I know it. Um, being the assistant of a senator? Yeah, that'd be too draining. Can you imagine? Um, yeah, I think it'd be great. I think it'd be a great no. opportunity. I think it'd be very fulfilling. If you had to drop down to like two or three videos a week, I think that'd be fun. I think that's all she well, This job I'll be interviewing for just seems really... Consistently with... More laid back. <laughs> what I'm used to. Spoilers, I don't I think, think it's part-time. I don't know. I think working too will allow me to, um, you know, use YouTube money solely on my channel, like reinvesting it into my channel, getting better equipment. Um, I mean, the money that you make is entirely yours to do with what you wish, but... Just whatever, you know? Yeah. It's highly up to you, my friend. Doing travel vlogs. I'm a big dreamer. <laughs> Perhaps not the biggest doer, mm. but that's okay. We all kind of get like that. We all have grand machinations about our future. Whether or not we actually do anything about it um. is entirely up to our, our disposition to be active. <sighs> Oh, yeah. Talk about me all you want. Thank you. It doesn't hurt my feelings. <laughs> <Doesn't> like, <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad it doesn't. Um, because she is a source of oops. entertainment and enlightenment for some, some of us. Wait, she made a cut, but <laughs> then she still kept that in. It's funny. Kept all this in. Last little piece. The rest will be, BB will be. He doesn't really like pizza, but he'll eat it if there's, you know, nothing else. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Sam Sam. Oh, it's so Hi, tiny Sam. compared to now where it's very floofy. Sam! Sam. Mm. We'll play Sam Sam. Nah, not, not big on making <clears throat> mouth content with animals. Anyways. It's just me. <sighs> uh huh. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Oh, bye. All right. So that's the end of that video. I actually kind of like doing these retro lookbacks and particularly with the most watched videos because it's never really, um, the comments are turned off in this video, by the way. Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting to do a little bit of a flashback and see where these individuals were and whether or not their attitudes and opinions have changed over the years um, when it comes to their content and the audience that reacts to them. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. That was a little bit more hopeful for the future. And it didn't turn out that way, unfortunately. Huh. Yeah, it's kind of sad, but she hit 80,000 subscribers, so that's really, you know, that's that's great for her. And hopefully, oh man, I don't know. I'd really, what do I want to see from Chantel? I would really like to see her 
put a weight loss plan in place. That's the content I would really enjoy rather than the, um, the current fast food mukbangs. But I mean, I guess all I can really do is continue watching and see just how, how bad it'll get before it gets better, if it gets better. Anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.